Welcome everybody to Very Important Geeks. Today we are taking a look at the ASIO Cascade 98, whose Kickstarter launched just a couple of days ago. And as you can see, it's already way surpassed its goal, but there are only about 50 or so pledges left for early bird pricing, so go and check it out in the description below. Now I have the slim model here, but they also have the standard body available on the Kickstarter too. Now, if the name ASIO sounds familiar, they are the ones who made these retro boards a few years ago that were pretty popular. This time around, they went a little more modern with the Cascade series. And full disclosure, they did send me this unit for review, but that doesn't influence my review in any way. They don't get to see this ahead of time, and they see it exactly when you do, and my opinions are still my own. Cascade 98 comes in a pretty standard black box with foam packaging, and in the package you also get a USB-C cable, and they've kindly added a USB-C A dongle if you don't have a USB-C connection. Now, I would have liked to have seen a braided cable included, however, they do offer braided coiled aviator style cables available in a host of colors as add-ons on the Kickstarter. It also comes with a keycap puller combo switch puller that is a lot better than the ones that come with most other boards. And finally, the keyboard itself. And it's a beautiful looking board, great combination of materials and colors here. The Cascade 98 is a 98% 103 key keyboard with low profile and standard heights. It has hot swap switches that come in Gateron Red, Blue, or Brown, laser etched ABS keycaps, support Bluetooth, 2.4 GHz wireless, and USB-C. It comes with a 3000 or 4000 milliamp hour battery, depending on the profile that you get, has aluminum top, plastic bottom, foam padding on the inside, RGB, and is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now this here is the Forest Light keycap theme, and I think it looks spectacular, and it's very minimalistic, muted, but has character of its own, and it's very aesthetically pleasing. And underneath the keycaps are the Gateron low profile switches. They come in blue, red, or brown, so clicky, linear, and tactile respectively. Now they are three pin and orient north with the north facing RGB. Now the Cascade 98 comes with low profile keycaps with laser etched legends. Sadly, no double shot here, which would have been nice at this price point, but the legends are clean and consistent. And I love that all the secondary functions are also conveniently labeled so that you don't have to remember a bunch of key combos. And as for the case, it does come in this attractive bronze anodized aluminum top case with a plastic bottom. On the back, you'll find the Bluetooth on and off as well as the USB-C. And while the case overall is pretty nice, the bottom edge of the top case was a bit rough still on mine and felt a little bit sharp. Also, the mating between the top and the bottom was a bit inconsistent, fitting tightly near the corners but bulging out slightly in the middle. But hey, it's the holidays, who isn't? And one thing I noticed that the USB-C port is pretty recessed in there, and while the cable that it comes with, the housing works for it pretty well, not all USB-C cables will have that size housing. So if you're going to get another USB-C cable for it, just make sure that either the USB-C plug is long enough or the housing will fit in that recess. Another thing I noticed was that the on-off switch wasn't completely aligned super well. While pushing it all the way to the left does turn it on, pushing it all the way to the right, it doesn't actually go all the way to the right. It kind of stops in the middle, but it does still turn off. It comes with dual stage feet for three different typing angles, and we love a good dual stage foot around here. The Cascade 98 is a compact full-size board, meaning it has all the keys, but it's done away with a lot of the extra space around the control cluster and arrow keys, and it very successfully does so while still maintaining a 2U0 on the numpad, which is mwah, chef's kiss. And while being a 98% board does make it sound like it's going to be very big, here it is compared to my 65% Alice style Maja V2. Still, not too much bigger than that. And here it is with my Keychron Q2, a 65% board with a rotary encoder, and still not that much bigger. This board can connect with up to five devices, meaning I can have it connected via USB to my laptop as I do here, and also have it connected to my iPad via Bluetooth and seamlessly switch between the two with a simple key combo. For all you RGB lovers out there, the RGB here is excellent, and while we don't get per-key RGB, you do get RGB across the PCB, and it's nice and bright. It has 8 RGB colors and 17 different backlighting modes.
So final thoughts, the Cascade 98 is a solid board out of the box that works well, looks great, and sounds pretty good too at a competitive early bird price. So drop over to the Kickstarter linked in the description below to grab a pledge before prices increase. And that about wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more nonsense. And until next time, geek out.